Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys who are new, my name is Natalie and I run a stationery shop called Doodles and Tea. So I decided why not film another studio vlog and I wanted to start off this studio vlog with an unboxing because around a month ago, I was reached out to by a company and they asked if we wanted to work together for this video and I'm super excited to share with you guys what we made together because this was a company that I've heard a lot about throughout my journey of running a shop. So the brand that I work together with is a brand called No Issue. Here are two products that we designed together. I'll tell you guys a bit about their company while I open these boxes. So let's just grab some scissors at the side here. Yeah, I don't trust myself with scissors. So if you guys haven't heard of No Issue, no Issue is a brand that creates packaging for shops and small businesses. They have three core values, which is one of them being all of their stuff and packaging is compostable. Another being that their products are made from recycled materials. So I believe like old plastic bottles and plastic bags and another being that all of their packaging is meant to be reused as well. They're just trying to do steps that makes everything a bit more environmentally friendly which I totally love and it's been something that I've been trying to do which is why if you guys have been following me for a while you will know that I no longer use cellophane bags even though back then they said that they were recyclable I just didn't want to deal with the waste of the paper flaps anymore so that's why I switched to glassine bags which are completely compostable now I believe so no issue has a lot of products the two that I designed and worked with them on was to create a stamp which I believe is in this box and I also made some cards with them which I believe are in this box. They also have a lot of other products that I'm quite curious about. They have water activated tape, which is great because they don't have that tacky film on the bottom, which I believe you can't recycle. And they also create stickers, they create mailers. I think they just started making tote bags as well. And another big thing I believe they're known for is their tissue paper as well. So if you guys have been looking for tissue paper, I would also recommend checking out No Issue. The shipping was also really fast. I got the notification that this was being mailed out from Hong Kong, I think like three days ago, and it's here now. And another great thing is that they do free worldwide shipping as well. Basically, all you do is you make your design, you upload it on the website, and within 24 hours, they'll have a personal designer send you a proof of your design to make sure that everything looks good before it's being produced. And I really like that because as someone who's a chronic overthinker and really anxious about sending in my designs to be manufactured, um, this cuts out a lot of that anxiety that I feel when I send it in. And at the end of your purchase, you also get a chance to plant a tree somewhere in the world, which is so cool. I think I picked mine to be planted in the Amazon rainforest, but there are a ton of other places that you can pick and for every transaction, you can plant a tree. All right, enough of that. Let's go open these and take a look and also test out the stamps as well. Okay, I have you guys on a really janky setup so I hope the camera doesn't fall down but let's open up the cards first everything's packaged in like cardstock I feel like which is great because as it says you can recycle it afterwards so let's put that to the side this is why I don't do unboxing like I watch people do album unboxings and it looks so smooth and here I am going like yeah I don't know Let's get this open. Oh my gosh, I am the worst at unboxing. This is why I should not do unboxings. So, meet your no issue cards. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's real. I think the first one is a bit dirty, but that's okay. Here it is. 
It's my little doodle of my freebie if you guys have seen it before And it just says thanks for all your support and then at the bottom just don't forget to Recycle and reuse all of our packaging and then on the back It says to whoever the buyer's name is a little thank you message from me and at the bottom I decided to put a QR code because originally when I designed this I put all of my social media links and it just got a bit too full so I decided to try using a QR code instead and yeah before I would write everyone's thank you message individually and that just took so long so I'm really glad with how these turned out there's like I think there's 50 in here so it's a big stack. Let's see if this QR code actually works because that was my biggest issue with this. I had some issues in designing it where my PNG files just didn't look that clear. So I think there's still parts of it that are a bit blurry, but it's not that bad. Yeah, it was just the first one on the very top that had a bit of smudging on the card. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a bit of smudging. But looking at the second one, it doesn't have any smudging on the same side. So I'm happy with that. The front and the back also do feel a bit different. The front feels a bit more smooth than the back. So let's try scanning the QR code with the second one. So I've got the scanner app. Let's see if it works. Oh! Browse website. And it takes you to, oh, our link in bio. Oh my gosh, it actually works. Wow. I'm, in, I'm surprised that actually worked. The QR code was probably the thing that I was most worried about because if this was slightly blurry i was afraid it wouldn't scan oh my gosh it actually works that's that will make things so much easier so cards great i love it let's move on to the stamp oh also one more thing i'll leave it on the screen right here here are some of the characteristics of how these cards were made in case you guys wanted to know okay and now the stamp Let's unbox this Meet Your No Issue stamp. I actually love the design that they use inside the box as well, if you guys can see it. It's so detailed. Love it. Here is our stamp. Ooh! Oh my gosh, gotta pull this out. Ugh! So for the stamps, there were two options. There is one that was self-inking and then there's one that's like this one that's not. Oh my gosh, it's really stuck. I originally wanted the self-inking one, but then I realized that over time, I would have to refill the ink. So why not just get one that has a stamp pad where in the future I can get more stamp pads so that it can be different colors. There were three different sizes for the stamps as well. I believe there was like a 30 cm by 30 cm, 50 cm by 50, and I think the largest one was 80. The one that I have here is 50 by 50. I cannot human and just can't screw it in aligned and centered apparently. Okay, so I got the handle in. I don't think it's still properly aligned, but I'll fix that later. That's just a me having issues. But here is a look at what the design looks like so far. I'm pretty sure you can't tell what it looks like, but we'll test this out in just a second. And underneath there should be an ink pad as well. So let's move that out of the way. So this is the stamp pad. They had four different colors. There was black, red, green, and blue, I believe. They're all soy-based inks, which leaves behind no petroleum when it's decomposing, and it's good for over 10,000 stamps. So I got this in black. I'm kind of always scared 
to do the first stamp because after that I'm like, oh, it's dirty. But at the same time, I'm so excited to try this out. Let me grab my sketchbook. So let's try and go on a new page. I also hope that this doesn't really bleed through the pages, but I guess we'll deal with that later on. <laughs> I'll give you guys a close-up shot in a second uh, at the very end to see what it is. I just don't have a good enough tripod to show you guys good angles and still have decent lighting. <laughs> All right, let's We'll try it on this side of the page because it's a bit closer to you guys. And then we'll stamp it down. I haven't actually used stamps in so long. So I don't know how much ink I'm supposed to get on the pad. Okay. So you can kind of see it there. All right, let's test this out. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Press it. Is that too much? Is that not enough? Okay, so that was not enough, but oh, at least the text... At least the text shows. That was one of the things I was really worried about. And I'll show you guys, I'll write the numbers out to show you which stamp it is. But because my writing is so bubbly and stuck together, I was really afraid that all the letters would be merged together. Okay, let's... Try this again. We're missing the middle part, so let me just... I'm gonna stand up for this. So we got the edges, but not really the center. So I'm gonna break this table just from stamping it. Ugh. Better, better. We got the center. Oh, and you can see that it says zoodles and tea. I'm actually so surprised at how well this turned out. What? Okay, you know, third time's the charm, right? Third time? Oh man, I already got ink on the side of the pad. Does that bother anyone else or just me? Also, some of you guys who are like using stamps regularly or watching me drag this stamp across the stamp pad and probably having an aneurysm like, what are you doing? You're destroying it, but... <laughs> okay. Let's try this once more. We'll just press it everywhere evenly and try to get a good even stamp. That's not bad. That, that's not bad. Okay, so here's a closer up shot of what the stamp looked like. It's so cute. So this top one was the very first one that I did. Forgot to press it down on the center, but the sides all look really good. This one, I pressed too much on the center and I forgot about the edges, but it still doesn't look bad. And this one was the final stamp, which is pretty even all around. And you can tell that the text, like you can read it. Maybe not so much on this angle of this camera, but the top says, thanks for your support, and the bottom says, sent with love, and on the envelope, it says, doodles and tea. I wanted to use my own handwriting for the stamp because it just seems a bit more personal than using a font that you can download online. But again, the problem with my writing was just, I write very bubbly and very close to each letter. Let's also see if it bled through the page. Oh, that's not that bad. You can't even see it on camera. But, all right, let's move this over here. It didn't really bleed through at all. So this is a moleskin sketchbook for your reference. So the pages are actually quite thick compared to some other sketchbooks that I've used in the past. So it didn't actually bleed through. I'm surprised. Okay, let's try stamping this on an envelope. So I grabbed one of the envelopes that I use for my orders. It's just a regular craft envelope. And when I got this stamp, I decided to put it maybe at the back corners over here so that when you're opening it, you can see it. So let's test this out. I usually 
leave the front to put a sticker on it. Oh man, I keep scraping the sides of the pad. I'm going to have to wipe it down afterwards. So let's get enough ink. It's all covered again. And let's try to put this on. Should I put it in the center? Or should I put it on the side? Center? Center? Side? Center? Let's do it in the center for now. And then just stamp it down. Oh my gosh. There we go. Oh, that was actually perfect. Here's also a look at how the pad looks, or sorry, the stamp looks after it's been stamped. All the ink is pretty much gone. So let's put that back there. Here it is. It's so cute. I've actually, what? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I drew that. And looking at it now, there's no like, really deep bleed of the ink. It looks exactly like how the stamp was supposed to be. Now that I'm looking at it on the craft, the bottom scent with love might have been a bit too close, but it's not that bad that you can't read it. And on the top it says, thanks for your support, and it says doodles and tea. That's actually so cute. I'm, I'm impressed. So, I'm actually quite impressed with how these all turned out. And again, I want to thank No Issue for working together with me to design this stamp and to design those cards. Everything is so nice and this is completely my honest opinion about when I first looked at everything. Again, if you guys are curious about getting anything from No Issue, I will leave a link to their website and their Instagram account in the description box for you guys to check out. I feel like I've been filming for longer than I expected. I wanted this to be an actual studio vlog and show you guys with some of the other projects that I've been doing, but I have no idea how long the edited version of this is going to be because I feel like I've been filming for a while. <laughs> I will say my farewells for now because if this video is really long already, this is probably going to be the end of the studio vlog. But if it turns out that it's not that bad, I will see you guys in the future. All right, bye. <laughs>